So I've used a lot of weight vests and from my experience, they've worked very well. The only issues I've had, it feels like that weight is just too much in one area. It's not spread out enough. Also, even the best fitting, tightest, most comfortable weight vest that I've used so far, the weight still just doesn't stay put enough. It's always like moving around, jumping up and down all over the place when you're trying to do something intense and it kind of takes away from training in that aspect. That is why I want to solve these issues and build myself my own custom weight suit. One that conforms to the body, stays tighter on the body so that you can move and it's not flopping around while also spreading the weight out to the limbs, giving you a more even distribution of that weight for better performance when moving the limbs at high speeds, etc. Could this be a performance breakthrough? Will I be able to build a successful suit? Let's find out, but you gotta focus. With a semi-clear plan in mind, I headed out to the sporting goods store to purchase the base of my revolutionary weight suit. Yeah, I don't know if that's gonna fit you. It needs to be tight. Some tight-fitting long-sleeve Under Armour and some Under Armour compression pants. And then off to the hardware store to try to find the right material that would work as distributed resistance for my suit. I don't know exactly what I'm looking for. <laughs> Exactly. Trying to find something that could be dynamic, looking at chains, cables, and ropes. But then I found something I believed would work even better. Heavy enough while still able to twist and turn, and also having a protective outer shell. I feel like that's the call. An extension cord. Not one that I was gonna plug in at all though. No, one I was going to weave around the suit. But how would I weave it around the suit? Zip ties. Dude, don't laugh. Oh. oh, this is so tight. Perfect. Gathering all my supplies after unwrapping and cleaning the cord, how was I going to get all of this weight from the extension cord to evenly distribute around the Under Armour? Oh man, we're doing some perfectly good Under Armour. Oh gosh. Well, with an advanced aerospace technique called punching two holes into the Under Armour, putting the zip tie in and out, and then wrapping that zip tie then therefore around the extension cord, securing it into place. Now, just to my luck, the extension cord having a rubber coating made it really stay secure in the zip tie. Now, I also just Gorilla taped the end of the extension cord because it had some sharp wire hanging out and I didn't want it scratching my body when I was running around in the suit. I feel like I need to spread this out. Now, before I started attaching the cord to the rest of the suit, I wanted to spread the suit out a bit to kind of emulate how it would sit on my body because if I put the cord on too tightly, well, I'd never be able to get this thing on in the first place. So after frustratingly taping this thing down, I then decided to go with the simple zigzag pattern in hope to distribute the weight as evenly as I could across the suit. I know you engineers out there are probably cringing right now, yes, punching the holes in the Under Armour with some dull scissors, but don't worry, I'm keeping the sharp side away from me and always punching away from me as well. Now, as I zip tied zigzag the cord into the suit, I kept the zip ties loose. That's so I could put the suit on and then tighten them down to better conform it to my body. Oh, look at that. Okay, so there's a lot of slack. This was actually probably the most difficult part, to try to get the cord the right length to not pull the suit too much, but also be tight. Well, it took me a bit, but I eventually got to the point I was satisfied with. Alright, first little bit done here. Oh dude, that's nice and tight. Pretty much. Now to start covering the arms, I decided to go with the wraparound technique. And to get this to stay in place, the hole punch with the zip ties. Look at that. Dude, one-handed. That was pretty skilled. All right, I'm gonna pat myself on the back for that one. We're just gonna do one lap, one lap, one wrap. Now as cringy safety patrol alarm going off as this looks, I just wanna make it clear, I'm not recommending anyone try to make this suit punching holes in it while they're wearing it, especially with scissors, but I assume the risks of potentially getting scraped. Also, the scissors I was using were extremely dull, and I did take precautions, never having the sharp side of the scissors facing my skin while I was punching a hole, and always punching the hole away from my body. Uh, but still, I mean, there are probably better ways of going about this, I'm just... I don't know, I just I just do things, you know what I mean? I'm stupid. What I'm learning also is I gotta make sure this isn't like twisted like this, because then it's gonna bound up, you know, like that. I gotta make sure it's straightened out. 
So after finishing the first wraparound on both arms, I did another zigzag pattern going the opposite way on the front of the suit, tightening that down. Well, the idea was actually beginning to come together. I am working. All right guys, I know this might look a little odd so far, but I do feel like I'm onto something. Like I'm, I still have that mobility. I feel like when I do tighten this down, it's not gonna shake around too much. However, I still have a lot more surface to cover. I gotta get the entire back and then just more overall weight added to the suit. The only thing is this is actually taking way more time than I thought. And I actually have another obligation I need to get to right now. So I'm out of time for now, but I'm gonna continue this either later today and or tomorrow. Off to the next day where I continued building the front of the suit with the remaining core and then I moved to constructing the back of the suit. Taping it down just like the front, going with the zigzag pattern, I got to punching and zipping the cord all throughout the back. For some reason, I went side to side with the zigzags rather than going up and down like I did in the front, but like whatever. Anyways, always intermittently trying the suit on to test the weight and making sure it was still mobile enough. It's poking me in the back right there. Not soft as butter. After adding another wraparound of the cord to the arms and tightening everything down a bit, I felt pretty satisfied with the upper piece of the suit. I feel like you can see it doesn't, it's pretty tight to me even though it doesn't seem that way. Like it's staying with me. I can feel the weight. I think we're on to something. And then I got to building the bottom half, which just consisted of me putting on the Under Armour compression pants, getting the cord, and doing the wraparound spiral technique. I, I don't know, I'm making these names up basically. But anyway, starting with the cord up top, punching some holes, putting the zip tie in and out, tightening the cord up, and then wrapping its way down the leg, punching holes as I go, zip tying it in. Yeah. But it was working. I am shocked that it's working so well. <laughs> Now a huge purpose of the suit was to be able to distribute the added weight throughout the limbs and body. However, if there needed to be one area where a little bit more weight was concentrated, I felt like the belt region was that area, probably because it was closer to my center of mass. So I looped the cord through this region about several times, keeping it loose enough to be able to get the pants on and off, but tight enough to where it wasn't flopping around. Don't forget the head. It was time for the final piece of the suit, the weighted hat. Using Bob as a placeholder, I continued with the basic technique, just punching holes and then looping the cord through with the zip ties around and around until I was basically all out of cord. And then, ladies and gentlemen, the suit was done. Aside from the weighted hat, the rest of the suit was staying on quite well. And while it does look like the cord is flopping around, I actually did not feel it that much, especially compared to a normal weight vest. Also, I still had basically all of my mobility. Now you might be thinking, taking this thing off must be the most difficult part. Well, no, it's actually getting it back on. Struggling to get the suit back on, but finally successful, I tested out some more dynamic movements. Running, changing directions, sprinting, plyometrics, it rides up a bit, and some simple dynamics. Wait for it, wait for it. I'm wired. <laughs> well, yes, it's probably looking like one of the stupidest things you've ever seen. I go. did oh. notice it was actually staying on even better than I expected it to. Yes, some of the zip ties weren't tight enough and some of the cord was slipping through. However, it still was holding up fairly well. Also, when the added weight of the cord would come back down, I wouldn't get that like severe rebound shock that I would typically get with a weight vest probably because the cord wasn't as concentrated in one area. 
And then when I took it off, similar to a weight vest, I felt that immediate lightness. So it must have been adding a significant amount of weight. Well, how much weight could a cord zip tied to some Under Armour actually be adding? Let's find out. All right, without the suit, Six point one. Okay, with the suit. Two twelve point nine. All right, without the hat, since I really haven't been using the hat for a bit. Let's see if we can find our way. Two eleven point nine. Yeah. So without the hat, nearly six added pounds spread over the body throughout the limbs. Yes, I know this homemade creation looks absolutely stupid and is falling apart right before our eyes right now. Just like one region coming loose, but other than that, whole thing's holding together pretty well. Just chilling. Yeah. But uh, but I'm feeling a bit strung up. What? No. <laughs> but getting this concept to pretty much work had me wondering why I haven't seen any weighted suits produced by any companies that would be more held together better. I feel like it's far superior to a weight vest to train in for that added resistance. Maybe it does exist out there, I just haven't seen it, and if it does, let me know. Also regarding all of this training, the summer sale is live for all of the Only Kinds Fitness training programs. My 12 week calisthenics program, Bodyweight Beast 2.0, my rapid get back into mobile shape program, the one month plan, volume two, and the more intense one month plan. OnlyKindsFitness.com, links in the description if you're interested, thank you. Anyways, you're probably wondering why haven't I clipped off the extras from the zip ties? Well, because that would be clipping off extra weight. Actually, it's because I'm lazy. Because if I do clip them off, I would also probably have to file each end and because, because each end would be sharp. Okay, other than that, really been moving around, doing some dynamic stuff with this, and um, like it is actually staying put a lot better than a weight vest would, and I think that's literally just because the weight is so spread out. So I really do feel like I'm wearing extra weight, approximately seven pounds worth according to our measurements we just took. The downside being there's just so much uh, stuff everywhere, you know what I mean? And obviously, yeah, it's just a prototype, but the idea is what's the important thing is the idea. And what I truly believe is that, you know, somebody, somebody with the proper equipment could manufacture a suit that maybe has like interweaved something heavy in there, some kind of rubber, polymer, heck, maybe even like metal of some sort that's like uh, antimicrobial or something. That would be even better, some kind of like antimicrobial metal. I'm just spewing ideas here. Yeah, it's like someone should make this. I swear that would sell like hotcakes, you know what I mean? Like why hasn't someone done that? And if they have done that, if they have done that, if somebody knows of some company who has done that, please let me know below because I would love to try that thing out like for an experiment, you know what I mean? Like I just think, I think that would be the best when it comes to added weight training for, you know, dynamic movements, calisthenics, plyometrics, learning to jump higher, run faster, like just being attached to your body and not like, blah, blah, blah. I think that would be the, the best thing if someone could do that. But uh, yeah, prototype, I would give this a, I would give this a B, okay? I'd give this a B. It shows that the idea can definitely work but yeah, it's just a prototype and it's a little bit floppy. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think below. And if you do know of that intertwined weighted cloth fiber fitted suit that I am just imagining right now, if that actually exists, please let me know. Other than that though, I hope you all have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace. I will see you all in the next video.